Hey YouTube, it's Alex. Um, I just realized right when I did that you can see my hospital bracelet. I just got back from labor and delivery and it's not because I thought I was in labor or anything like that. So I actually went in because um, my Facebook for YouTube that I keep forgetting to tell you guys about it in the description or whatever because you've been asking me about like what's your Facebook blah blah blah. Um, I don't know how to figure that out. I just don't. And I haven't really tried, I guess, because I have just too much going on. Um, I'll eventually figure that out. But I actually do a lot more updates on YouTube than I do Facebook. Even though I brought it back and I've been kind of talking on it, it's still, like, not new to me. Like, I'm not used to going on Facebook, and I want to keep it that way. I want to keep it... Um, me doing it once in a while and not me getting addicted to it like I was two years ago because I deleted it. It's almost been two years since I deleted it. If that makes sense. But anyways, Facebook. Um, I wanted to labor and deliver tonight because last night I posted a picture of my foot of how swollen it was because they're very, very swollen still. And I didn't think anything of it. I just thought how crazy swollen they are and I wanted to share the picture. I thought it was just everything normal, which it is. And some of the um, some of the women on there were saying that it could be a symptom of preeclampsia. It could not be, but to be safe, you know, go get it checked out. I'm like, okay, I'm having the long pregnancy I want. I don't want preeclampsia being something added to the mix that I've already been going through. So I only went just for that. I did not go for contractions or anything else. I just wanted to make sure that I was okay and baby was okay. And we are. Um, so that's really good. Um, it made it so Paul and I couldn't watch The Walking Dead. So don't say anything. Um, we don't have cable. So uh, we have to wait about a day after a TV show airs in order to rent it and watch the episode. And we were supposed to do that yesterday. And that didn't happen. And then we were supposed to do it today. And it didn't happen because we went to l &D. So I have to wait till tomorrow to watch Walking Dead. Um, symptom wise, um, so I have a birthing ball now that I've been bouncing on, and that is a godsend because I feel like every since I have been bouncing and rotating my hips and moving around on that ball, I feel like I am so much more comfortable, and I feel like something just like flew by my screen just there. I wonder if I'll see that. After I upload the video. Did you guys see that? Like I saw it in the corner of my eye. So I can see myself. Creepy. Because it's almost Halloween. <laughs> I'll have to rewind that and look. Um, or rewatch. So what I was saying. The birthing ball. <sighs> Sorry I'm out of breath. I'm getting big. <laughs> it's hard to breathe. Um, I feel like I don't have that much pain and discomfort. That I've been telling you guys on my my videos the last like I don't know three weeks I've been getting super uncomfortable I can't sit anywhere this and this I'm agitated blah 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 I feel like ever since I got my my ball to bounce on I feel like I'm so much more comfortable I don't know maybe I the ball helped me loosen my joints um I just feel so much better and I'm grateful that I got the ball and I almost didn't and I'm just so glad I did um I totally forgot to tell you that they checked my cervix just to check because I have, you know, the painless dil dilation. And since I have been having contractions, I was curious um, if I was dilated at all. So they, she said I'm exactly three centimeters, which I guess is progression because my doctor said I was basically three centimeters. Now she's telling me I am three centimeters dilated. And she told me that um, I'm 95% phased. So for the longest time I was 90%. Now she's saying I'm 95% effaced. Um, so I guess that is progression, you know. And then it was embarrassing because she's like, Well, your plan is to deliver in Salem. Do you have anywhere you could stay in Salem so you don't? You know, your water doesn't break or something when you're at home and you have to travel all the way that way. And I'm, I got really embarrassed. I'm like, I know, I know. I actually do have somewhere to stay there. But my husband and I just, 
you don't want to be home, it's too hard, and I explained it all, and I go, I know it's not very bright of us, I go, I know it's Tuesday, but we are going to go on Friday to stay there for two nights, maybe, probably longer, I probably won't even come back home, even though I always say that, just because I am 38 weeks, and I'll be pretty much 39 weeks, <laughs> By the time we stay there, I'll be shy of 39 weeks, so I probably really do need to stay. <sighs> yeah, so i treating myself and the kids. We went to Judge Bros after. This has no caffeine in it. It's pumpkin y and it's so yummy. They made my drink wrong last time I ordered it. It was like all liquid and ice, and I'm like, no, I wanted like the smoothie, frosty type. So. They gave me this for free, which I thought was really awesome. And then the kids got like sour apple smoothies they like to get once in a while. Mm -mm. Ooh, I can't breathe. So that's my update of the day. No. Haven't had really any contractions today, so they definitely died down because yesterday I was having a bunch of them. And then today they just like went away. So I keep having that. I think that's what the prodomal. I'm saying it wrong, probably. Labor is, you have a bunch of contractions, like, all day long, and then they die down, and then they come back, and then they die down. Well, I pretty much didn't have that much today. I had my usual two to three an hour, and that's it. I had one massive one when I was in L&D, and then they said that my uterus seemed really irritable the whole time I was there, but not enough to call contractions. Like, yeah, I have an irritable uterus. I'm used to that now, but I only had one good strong one, and it hurt a little. And then and it definitely picked up on the monitor, but I already knew I was fine. I knew I was going to get discharged. I just really wanted to make sure that I did not have preeclampsia and that my blood pressure was fine, which it was. And then she made a good point. She's like, you know, there's a store, I think at Fred Meyer or something, that like, you can check your blood pressure if you're ever curious. I'm like, they have one in Safeway, and that's a good idea. I didn't even think of that. So, if I get worried again, instead of going to L&D, I think I'll just go to our nearest Safeway and just check my blood pressure out. Um, so, the question of the day, I actually didn't have a hard time thinking about it for this, this time because they're starting to get hard to think of questions. Um, it's not labor and delivery like it's been. It's just a pregnant question, or pregnant thing in general. Um, I know a lot of women hate to hear, oh, you're huge, are you going to pop any day? Like, I know I know a lot of women hate that, but I get the opposite and it bugs me. I get, you are so small, or are you this, they like to guess how, how far along I am and it really irritates me. I don't know why. It's like, why can't you be like, oh, you're pregnant, congratulations, and then be done with it. But no, they want to they want to tell you you're tiny or they want to tell you you're too big or they want to know um, they like to guess how far along you are and I don't know why but it irritates me um, my mom just had surgery and I was visiting her sorry Kira's moving the computer desk I was visiting her and the man for some reason was like um he said, I forgot what he said. He goes, you're really small. I go, thanks. And he's like, what are you, like, six months pregnant, seven months pregnant? Shh. And I'm like, no. <laughs> I'm actually, I only got all no because I'm tired of people. Hi, me. Hold on. Um, I was like, actually, I'm like nine and a half months, you know, because to me, it's like ten months is 40 weeks. That's how I count it. I go, I'm actually, like, going to have the baby any day now. And he goes, Oh, you don't look like it. You're really small. And, and then I was like, I'm actually really tall. So that's probably why I show smaller. And he goes, you're tall. Because he's like really, really, really tall. Like six something. And then my mom's partner, wife or whatever. She's like, yeah, Alex is tall for a girl. I'm like, yeah, for a girl, I'm actually pretty tall. I'm 5'7", if you're curious. And a lot of girls I know are like way shorter than me. And then, what time am I at? <sighs> And then, not too long ago, someone thought I was four months, and I'm like, no, I'm eight months. So, they thought I was like half of what my pregnancy was. So, that's my question of the day to you guys. Does it bug you that people ask you or estimate how far along you are? It's so annoying and rude. Alright, bye guys.